Hello everyone and welcome back to this brand new Aviation Jack video. It's quite a special video today because we're actually unboxing the um, new TCA Size Stick uh, Airbus Edition. So this is from Glossmaster, it's been released previously to all different streamers who are quite well known. But um, I've literally just got my hands in it today, it's the 24th is it today? Something like that, 20, no 26th of June. And it's uh, looks really good, so we're going to start seeing this in our video. So today's video is basically just going to be unboxing, reviewing and testing the TCA. And uh, yeah, so let's get this thing open because I've been waiting for quite a while now. So in, as soon as you open the box, literally all you've got is your manual, a few plugs. Oh, this will be USB to plug it in. So here we have the, oh, it's bigger than I thought to be fair. So yeah, here we have the new Thrustmaster TCA Airbus Size Stick Edition. The box is put on the needed. So it comes wrapped up in this old plastic uh, manual, literally standard manual, USB powered, nothing special. So as well as the um, size stick, we obviously also get the two switching between first officer and captain. So you can, these are the things it also comes with, which is the adjustable, I guess you could say it's adjusted, and literally all, yeah, so this would be the first officer side, this is what we're on the captain right now, on the left. This would be your first officer side, and then we also do the same with the other one. Here we go, and this is like the black dot over here. So yeah, these are your two switch ones, so what you do is you pop them out through, uh, see this little parts here, pop them out through these, and then you just plug in the other part that goes in. And the back of the uh, yoke will also have this, which some people think is a um, break. This is actually push to talk, as they said. And also we have the yaw, and then this is what you click, I guess, it's tiny. Yeah, this is what you do to stop the yaw. So if you want to release the yaw, the yaw lock, in case you've got rudders, you just push the under button, and then you've got your free Z-axis movement again. Um, so now I'm going to move on to a few different features that I'm just going to talk about or kind of like reviewing of. So here we have, I think it's 15 buttons, uh, 13, 14. Okay, yeah, you can count, you can account and say you've got 15 buttons in total on the actual uh, size stick itself. And also it comes with a throttle in case you're not going to get the throttle quadrant. Um, so there's a tiny little click. So this part here is the reverse part on the side. So if you, you can hear, but you can't hear, but you can feel a tiny little click there. That's your idle thrust and then you're into your reverses. There's not a lot of space, so you do have to be quite careful. It's not really great with, you know, using the throttle, but that's what the throttle quadrant is for in time. So then obviously you'd switch it over, and then you won't use this. I mean, you could use it for something different, like maybe trim, you could, possibly. So yeah, that's uh, all the buttons and features. Um, next up we have, I'm going to talk about the weight of the base and whether it's, you know, you need the clamp. Well, I mean, you could use a clamp if you don't, if you don't want any more space, but... The whole weight of it is not actually that bad. Like if you fall up, fall down, fall left, fall right, and as you can tell, it's not it's not moving. Some streams have said that they're having to hold it down with their finger to try and keep it steady, but I'm not really finding that issue. I mean, unless they're all doing this, but you know, I'm not really finding that issue. So in terms of the weight of the base, everything's fine. Like it's it's pretty heavy. It's not that it's not that awful. Uh, right, so yeah, Nexus thing also has a um, heart system. So if you have a look on the box. So the heart is basically the Halifax Accurate technology. And what this basically is, is it just feels a lot better. And it basically, well, it's just that heart technology, you know? <laughs> so I've got to look into this because I'm not too sure what it's actually about. I'm going to cut that bit out. I'll just say it's the heart for technology. But yeah, it has heart, which apparently, I'm pretty sure other yokes use this. Um, I'm not too sure exactly what the purpose of it is, but I think it's the way it feels, so it's to do with that. Here, on the image, actually, it's to do with the springs. That's what it is. It's to do with the springs. I have to read into that. Or tell me what you think it is in the comments, or if you know what it is, let me know what it is. Um, so yeah, and obviously the last part of the video we're just going to talk about here, on the reviewing section, is if you don't have any rudder pedals or any rudders at all, uh, you can use the actual side stick itself for a yoke. So uh, if I was taxiing that and we just landed, blah 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 blah, and you know you can actually move the axis left and right like so. And like I said before, if you don't want to use this because you've got rudders, click it in and it locks it perfectly. So that concludes this section of the video, and now we're going to go to the flight sim and we're going to test it. 
and I'll give you and we, you know I can show you the video of it as well. Overall, um, the end product, I would definitely give Thrustmaster TCA Airbus Size Stick Edition a uh, 5 stars out of 5. Um, I do recommend it. For the price that you're paying, I think it's very worth it, considering most other side sticks and yokes are in the you know 100 euro kind of range. So uh, I definitely do recommend this, even if you're a first time simmer. Uh, it's great to start out with. And if you want to feel more realistic flying Airbus, I also think it's a great product as well. Um, apart from that, not much else I can say about it. Um, if you want to see some kind of different video or more something like this, then do let me know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I hope it's also very uh, what's it called, informing, and I've encouraged you to buy it. But yeah, have a nice day, and I will see you all very very soon. Bye bye.